Hey, God bless you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I had a dream about 14 years ago. I had this dream about the Antichrist. I believe this guy's the Antichrist. And uh, I had this dream, and he was not a world leader yet when I had this dream, but he was campaigning to become one. And, uh, and so I had this dream about him. I had a bad feeling about this guy right from the beginning. And so I, uh, I'm out in this dream, and I'm out in the desert with two other Christians. And we're standing there, and behind us is this huge pyramid. And right at the bottom, there's like a door, and out comes this, this guy. And uh, he starts walking towards it. He comes up to us, and he starts to talk to us. He starts to reveal some kind of a plan or agenda that he's trying to convince us of. And he's talking, he's looking at us all like he's trying to convince us. <clears throat> and he looks at, he's looking at me. And I'm looking back at him like, I think, you know, I'm thinking in my head, I don't believe one word you're saying. And uh, I think you're full of, full of crap. Is basically what I was thinking in my head. And he could tell that I didn't believe anything that he was saying. So he turned away from me, put his arms around these other guys, and he's boosting up their egos. He's chumming it up with them. He's making them feel all good about themselves. And they're... They're all into what he's saying because he's boosting up their egos, right? And he's making them feel good about themselves. And so they they start to listen to everything he's saying. And that's basically the whole dream I had right there. <clears throat> and so I think that this dream has pretty much come true, though, in, in the sense that uh, I've seen so many Christians following this. You know, since this guy became world leader, I've seen so many Christians just believing everything this guy says. And I've seen pastors touting the guy like I, there was a there's this pastor in my city who he's on tv across canada and he said on his show or his program whatever he said uh, that this guy he believed was the most godly politician out there and uh when he said that i i was uh i was pretty irritated and i i gave him a i sent him an email i said how can you even say that this guy is the most godly politician out there, I thought. How in the world could you come up with that? So I named off all these evil things this guy caused to happen across the world since he's gotten into power. And he emails me back. He's like, oh, you know why? Uh, I was just whatever, you know. you know, He was just kind of blowing it off like it didn't make any... It was no big deal what he said. And he wasn't, he wasn't admitting he was wrong about anything even though uh, I named all these things that he was so evil. It was so evil. It was so antichrist what this guy had done. And, uh, yeah, the pastor basically blew it off. And he's the kind of guy that just does whatever he wants. He, he kind of gets away with it. But one day he's going to be accountable. Anyways. And I've seen so many Christians that just kind of follow this guy's agenda, follow his plan. He's puppeteering the whole world, actually. And you can see all these world leaders just falling in line with this guy and his plans. And so that was a dream I had. And what I want to say is like so many people fall into this guy's plans. So many pastors, so many churches just going, even if they're not with the guy, like they're not saying, oh, we, we follow this guy. He's, his plans have gotten out into the world. And they've, they've gone into areas of the world and people are agreeing with him. Even if they're not saying, oh, I agree with this guy, they're agreeing with his plans. And so what I want to say is that Jesus is merciful, he's kind, he's gracious, and he wants to forgive his people when they sin and they fall off this path. And uh, what I want to say is that he's offering his grace and his mercy to all these Christians that have totally fallen off his plans. I pray that so many Christians would re realize that they've really, they've really, they've fallen for a, a lying agenda in so many ways and that they would repent and they would come to the Lord and it, and and ask for his mercy and his grace because we're talking about the antichrist here. We're talking about a guy that the Bible does not talk good about. And he what he's going to do is not going to be a good thing and all, if you're going to be part of the great falling away, falling into this guy's plans and you're not going to repent, it's not going to go well for you. So I'm just I just pray that the church would, so much of the church would come to repentance. It would, their eyes would be open to the deception that they're falling into. And I just pray that 
over the church. I pray there'd be a revival in these last days and that Christians would wake up and there would be something really amazing taking place. I believe there is going to be something like that. And so I just pray for that to happen. And I just pray that this uh, video would wake some people up out there. In Jesus' name, God bless.